Hello from HP Gadget Hacks. Today I want to do a quick walkthrough on how to properly clean a laptop. If you're like me and you like to use all laptops, I don't really have a big computer at home I use. I do everything off of laptops and they're prone to overheating if not kept properly clean. So the one thing, the main things you're going to need, some canned air, any brand doesn't matter. Uh, just make sure it's a kind that doesn't have moisture in it. You can even use the CO2 cartridge type, which I prefer, or uh, you can use an air compressor, just make sure it's free of all air. You need some kind of screen cleaner that's electronic safe, uh, some form of microfiber cloth, and I really suggest, don't care about the brand, but some kind of uh, cleaning putty. It's a, a gel that's antimicrobial, good for cleaning keyboards and things. So. Do a quick walk through here. Uh, today for cleaning the screen, I'm actually going to be using this, which I really like. It's a little all-in-one package that is very convenient for cleaning screens. It can be found very cheaply. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to go through a very easy cleaning, and then I'll get into a little deeper for some people. First of all, definitely want to make sure it's unplugged and remove the battery. Now, best thing to do is along the edge you should have a vent like this you're going to want to blow it out with the air see some dust flying out you're going to want to catch it on the back side of the vents here they're in different places on all but you can see you'll be able to see uh, pretty much inside the laptop you want to blow all of those out very well I like to blow on the battery connections uh, I like to blow all of the ports out yeah, just keeps it nice and keeps things from clogging up and getting overheated. So, now that you've done that, I also like to take some of the, call it cyber putty that I was talking about, and just press it down into the grates to make sure you get all the excess dust and dirt out. It's safe for connectors and things, so you can use it on there the little grills so it's all for cleaning the underside that's one of the most important things because it keeps it cool take the canned air again blow out the keys on the keyboard lightly on the speakers some speakers are in different places around the edges of the screen it all works really well I'm just going through a quick walkthrough um, just take your time when you do it then take the cyber putty and press it into the keys. You can apply a bit of pressure, not too much. I mean, you don't want to crack anything, but enough to get it down in there and really get the stuff out from between those keys. And as I said before, it's uh, antimicrobial, so it helps to kill a lot of germs that your laptop keys connect. You can also push it lightly down into the speaker groups. So very good stuff. And now, last but not least, cleaning the screen. If you're using a microfiber cloth like this or like this, I like to spray the compound onto it and wipe down. But since I'm not using that tight, I'm going to do it a little differently. I'm actually going to spray directly onto the screen and use this to wipe off. So, that's pretty easy. Pretty much anybody can figure out how to clean a screen. <laughs> that's set for a second. Just make sure it's all nice and clean. Now, even though I do use this, I like to use a small rag to go around the edges with kind of the tip of my finger, fingernail, of course behind the cloth, to make sure I get all the little edges. Get your camera if you have one at the top. And there you go, that's a relatively clean laptop. That actually will do a lot for the life of the laptop. Now. This is for people who aren't scared to open their laptops. You're going to need a Phillips head screwdriver. Because me, I know a bit about computers, so I don't mind opening them up and doing some deep cleaning. Uh, if you're scared to do this, please stop at this point. I'm not responsible for any damage that happens to your equipment because static electricity and things like that can damage your electronics. So this is the RAM compartment on this particular laptop. 
and I flow get everything out. Now you can take the hard drive out and blow down in there, but I don't really suggest it uh, because there's really no need. I am going to lift the cover on this one just to get some light air in there. Very light. No need for forcefulness around the laptop hard drive. And there you go. The one other thing you can do when your laptop's booted back up and back on, you can open the CD-ROM tray and blow it out. As long as you're using moisture-free air, you're pretty safe even with it on. Just be careful. Don't use it too long or too hard. Um, it's a good idea, too, to get some air down in here between the hinges. No more light coat. A little air across never hurts, no matter how well you've cleaned. So, there you go. The basics of cleaning laptops and like I said it works really well to keep them from overheating and just for the life of the product in general because laptops collect a lot of dust in their heat sinks which is what I cleaned on the bottom first and on the edge sorry this edge that's the heat sink for the CPU those collect a lot of dust and a lot of heat because of the way they're designed um, this also works on netbooks but you have smaller vents on the side and most netbooks uh, can't take apart the bottom to clean out but always remove the battery and just make sure you blow out the ports and things like that so I hope that helped out like I said just a quick walkthrough uh, when I get a tower or a desktop computer in for service I'll uh, do a video on how to clean those properly because there's a lot more to it really but uh, I don't have one around right now so as soon as I get one in I'll make a video for that and uh, hope you enjoyed this hope it helps you out and you know keeping your laptop maintained and expanding the life of your product. So, uh, thanks everybody. Have a good one and uh, don't forget to follow me on Twitter.